What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspies. We just sold out 2024 Fanatics Under Wraps Autograph MLB Baseballs, guys. This is a 12 box case, random teams number four, guys. And again, loaded checklist, guys. No Astros in this, so 29 spots. Every other team is represented. And again, we go by this checklist here, which Nick put it on uh, inside the item description there, so you could check it out, see how many teams have what. Now, remember, guys, we go by the checklist on the two photos. So, for examples, we pull a Nolan Ryan. You know, it could be a specialty ball. Uh, it might not show Texas, but he's under the Texas checklist. We're going to give it to Texas, no matter what. It's whatever is under the checklist. Um, so just just a little FYI. Um, but, yeah, we've done a couple of these already. Let's see how this one goes. And uh, here we go, guys. Dice roll. Dice roll it. Three to three, six times. Here's the customer names in here. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Six times, six times. Eric at the top, down to Eric at the bottom. Six times here. One, two, three, four, five, six. A's down to the Nationals. All right, so Eric, you have the Oakland A's as well as the uh, Kansas City Royals. Eric with the Dodgers as well. Brett with the Brewers. Eric with the Red Sox and Cubs. Rex, you have the Mariners. Joe with the Guardians. Eric with the White Sox. Brett with the Giants. Joe with the Rockies. Uh, Alan with the Mets. Eric with the Cardinals, Blue Jays, Twins, Angels, and Pirates. Kev, you have the Padres. Brett with the Texas Rangers. Eric with the Cincinnati Reds. Alan with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Stacy with the Philadelphia Phillies. Rex, you have the Atlanta Braves. Stacy with the Yankees. Allen with the Rays. Eugene with the Orioles. Eric with the Tigers. Allen with the Marlins. And then Eric with the Nationals. So if anybody wants to potentially trade, let me know. Give you guys a quick minute. But if not, stick to what you got. Well, if you wanted to, Rex, uh, Brett, I think, is sleeping. BTW was here earlier, but 
I don't know if he's actually here to trade for you, with you. I'll give it another 30 seconds just because I know you would want a chance at Null and stuff, but I think he fell asleep already. I guess so. Oh, well, since we have time, do people want to play Who Am I? There's not really many people watching, but I figure since we do have time, since nothing else is sold out, I'd do it for, for some baseballs, but if, if not, I'm just going to go through it like I normally do. Some peeps. Here's some peeps. Hey, what is my knife? BS, man. BS. All right, one sec, guys. It's not Rex, but I kind of have to read the room sometimes, you know? I'm not going to play when there's like barely any chatting or people watching, you know? It's different when there's actually active chatters than compared to where it's been quiet for like three or four hours. So, I'm not hating on the game. I love playing it, but I'm not going to just play it if no one's watching <laughs> and inter interacting. I'd rather just get through the break. Let's pull out the card and see if we figure out what we got here. All right, let's see how. Let's just see if we can get some some action here. All right, so I am a current active catcher in the MLB. Only played for one team my entire career, but I am a two-time All-Star. Last two years, to be exact. I was an All-MLB first team in 2023 as well. My batting average right now, currently, actually not currently, my batting average all-time is 267 with 50 home runs and 189 yards batted in. I'm a young player though. Went to college. Now Ramuto, now Will Smith. I was the first overall pick in 2019. Signed the highest signing bonus at that time, $8.1 million. 
And I went to college at Oregon State. I know BTW was here early and really wanted the Orioles if he was if he was able to trade him. But Eugene, yes, that was right. I haven't seen the baseball though, but it is going to be Adley. Now let's see what kind of baseball it is though. Could be a nice one. All right, just a normal one. Still very nice Adley though. COA's right there and all. So Eugene with the Baltimore Orioles. Two-time All-Star already in my first two years in the league. Not bad, right? It's a good way to start off the baseballs. One down, 11 more to go. And just FYI, these baseball boxes aren't always perfect, so don't think that we damaged them. Sometimes they are gonna come a little dinged up already, but I mean, it's out of our control, of course. I'm a currently active um, outfielder in the MLB. I am 26 years old. A four-time All-Star in 2019 and the last three years from 2021 to 2023. I was an All-MLB first team last year. I won Rookie of the Year in 2018. I'm also a three-time Silver Slugger Award winner, two-time NL Stolen Base Leader, and was the NL MVP last year. Currently out for the season, of course. But I made it kind of easy saying a couple of those statistics. Would you look at that, Rex? Would you look at that? Let's see if it's a specialty ball. No, just the base one, but there you go. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. percent of the time works every time it's called sex panther from odeon yeah braves are actually a pretty nice team to get honestly i mean there's some teams that are a lot better than others but I'm assuming it's this guy, so I'm going to go off of his Wikipedia. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm a professional catcher in the MLB. 
92 baby like me. Born November 28th, 1992. 31 years old currently. Made my debut for the Texas Rangers in 2018. Uh, currently active as well for this team in the AL. And I was actually an all-star in 2022. I also was a Gold Glove Award winner, Platinum Glove Award winner, and a Fielding Bible Award winner. Which I'm not sure what that is. Um, but... Um, I batted uh, 210 with four home runs and 15 RBIs in 55 games with my current team last year. Uh, but I did have season-ending surgery on a ligament tear in my wrist, which uh, sidelined me the second half of the season. But I re-signed with this team on a one-year deal. Nope, it's not Evan Carter. I'll let you know he plays for the New York Yankees right now, currently. This one's going to be hard unless you really just are a big Yankees guy, I guess. I don't think he's the starting catcher for the Yankees. Unless I'm wrong. This year, I have eight home runs and 27 RBIs for the Yankees. With a 244 batting average. Yeah, not Haim, but yes, Trevino. And I'm assuming that's him, and I'm going to go by the checkers, of course. But uh, I'm assuming. Yeah, Yankees right there still. Let's see what kind of baseball this is. That's going to go to Stacy. And we had two rocking baseball, so I figured we're going to have a guy like, you know, maybe Jose Trevino or something like that, which is not a bad ball player. Still in the MLB, of course. Was an all-star two years ago. There you go. Next one. Let's get ourselves a specialty ball. I'm missing some of those lately. Alright, bro. Come out there, man. Alright. I am a former, currently retired MLB um, player. Uh, played as an outfielder, a catcher, and a first baseman. I played 18 years in the MLB from 1976 to 1993. I had a career batting average of 265. Had over 2,000 hits. 398 home runs. Which, man, that pissed me off that I didn't get to 400. But 398 home runs with over 1,200 RBIs. I played for three teams my entire career, but one was the main one, of course, where I was a seven-time All-Star, two-time NLV MVP in 82 and 83, was a five-time Gold Glove Award winner, four-time Silver Slugger, won Roberto Clemente Award in 1988, two-time NL Home Run Leader in 84 and 85, and my number three is retired by this team. Not in the Hall of Fame, but in the Braves Hall of Fame. Which that should give it away. Yeah. Don't you look at that.
On the board again, Rex. And look at that. That is sick. So there's the signature with NL MVP inscription 82 and 83. Obviously before my time, I think he retired in 1993 after playing with the Rockies for one season. So I was just about to be a year old. There you go, man. I'm a currently active professional baseball player for the team that drafted me in the first round in 2020. Um, through August, I have a career batting average of 260 with 16 home runs and 55 uh, RBIs. Um, was the 21st overall selection in 2020 and signed a $2.9 million signing bonus with the team that drafted me. And uh, like I said, made my debut in 2023. I'm a right fielder as well. I'm going to give up another thing, but I think quite necessary. Started the season on right field with this team, but then was sent back down to AAA in uh, April 24th after starting this year with a 1.55 batting average. But a lot of people are high on me and still just turned 22 a few months back. Not Mervis, not Holiday. Yes, Jordan Walker. So that's Eric with the St. Louis Cardinals. Where's the baseball there, man? Not sure how he's doing in, in AAA right now, but obviously, like I said, I still think young enough, and you know, it did some good for Holiday to get sent back down for a little bit. So hopefully, it helps him. Oh, did he really? Oh, nice. I didn't see if he got called up or not. So that's good. Hopefully uh, he stays up. I'm a former MLB third baseman. I played for uh, almost 20 years. Really, it's actually like 20 years. 
was the first overall pick in 1990. Who was the first overall pick in 1990? Do people remember that? I'm sure some of the some of you guys will remember that. Was a eight-time All-Star. Won the World Series in 1995. Also won NLP, NL MVP in 1999. And yes, was the first Ballot Hall of Famer in 2018 with a 97.2 vote in. And yeah, right away, once once they said who was the first overall pick, right? <laughs> oh my god. The break of all breaks. We are in the multiverse, Rex. This shouldn't be happening to you. Oh my worst nights. I mean, granted though, Atlanta does have a big checklist. Dale Murphy, Greg Maddox, Olsen, Freed, Michael Harris, Acuna, Glavin. Uh, Chipper. They have a pretty big checklist. Well, so far, it would have been a really tough decision, but I'm sure if if, if we were to hit one Nolan in here, I think Rex still would have been happy. But so far, it's working in Rex's favor. Alright, we're halfway through, guys. Halfway through. I don't know. There's still another five players you can hit. <laughs> but, just never know. I am a currently active catcher in the MLB, also born in 1992. Made my debut in 2016 with my former team. Was a three-time All-Star with my former team as well. And won a World Series with that team. But now on to my new team as of last year. And my current batting average Let's see what my current batting average is right now. Oh, trust me. We know this pizzle. Let's see. I'm batting uh two sixty four right now with fifteen home runs and thirty four RBIs. And let's see. Let, let's see if Pizzles. Let's see Pizzles' eyes. But he just got some help from Ned right now. That's another one there for uh, Eric and the Cardinals. All right, three Braves and two Cardinals. Man. On Pizzle? <laughs> Can't mess that up. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still got it wrong, technically. You're right. Let's do this one for Pizzle. Let's, let's see. Alright, this will be a good one. Who's this, Pizzle? You gotta reply back like in 10 seconds. Less than that. Holy Jesus. <laughs> this is how we're going to know how good Pizzo is. Let me see if his, 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 his let me see if his autograph actually looks like that in normal. Huh? It kind of does look like that honestly. It does look like that. So Alright, well, eh, you're wrong, Pizzle. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Alright, I'm an American professional outfielder. This way? I did flip it in the beginning, but then I put it back this way because it looked like it was right. I can see the letters now, though. Because I've seen who this is, obviously. Alright, I'm a professional outfielder who made my debut in 2023 as well. I was traded though um, in 2021 during the trade deadline to my new team in exchange for two players. But I was drafted by the Mets 19th overall in 2020. And my MLB statistics currently in the MLB is 203 batting average. I only have three home runs, 24 RBIs. But I have 25 stolen bases though. This is via Wikipedia, though. I could be off. Now, Winker. And yes. And now I can see it. There's the big A. I don't know if that's supposed to be a P. But there's the CA. I can see the C and I can see the A at the end. It... I give you this, it does look a little sloppy because compared to this one, it kind of looks like that. I can see the C and the A, just not really the P. But it's it's close though. I mean, I can tell right away now when you look at this one and, and his autograph there. Well, there you go. So, uh, Pico Armstrong, of course, is going to be under the Chicago Cubs, which is Eric as well. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny that your first ball that you wanted to see only, you were like, Jesus! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. You almost offered the Mariners. No, Reza, not everybody went here. Uh, only a few of us did. 
they're, they're going to be doing multiple shows throughout next year, so we're all going to kind of rotate. So, the next one. But also, too, you know, some people have to stay behind so we can still do our normal breaking hours. We're not really breaking that much there. That's the thing, too, so. If we were doing, like, a full breaking week, then probably everybody would want. Oh, this guy was mentioned a couple times through my Who Am I's, actually. This guy was mentioned earlier by a couple of you guys. Let's see. Let's see if you guys actually get him this time. I'm also professional catcher in the MLB. Born in 1991. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Uh, played for two teams my entire career. Currently with my team since 2019. I'm a three-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove Award winner. Uh, and yeah, et cetera, et cetera. You guys got it. Just because you guys said his name a couple times, actually. So, Phillies, that's going to go to Stacy. Um, well, it's not that we're going to do other... Well, yes, to answer your question, we are going to do other shows, but Fanatics is going to start doing multiple shows like they are now uh, throughout the year. They're not just going to have one show a year like the National. They're going to actually travel around the United States. So, that, uh, I think we were told that they'll have a show like in Pittsburgh. They're planning to have a show like in Dallas, potentially, L.A., so they're not just going to do a one-year deal thing, one year, once a year. They're, they're going to travel around the states to get the whole nation into the hobby. So when I'm, we mean that, it's we'll mainly like that. PK. Have it your way. Redemption time. Why, why do you keep on saying that, Joe? Oh, you want me to try uh, to do a non... No, okay, I'll do that for you. I was like, what the hell are you talking about, Redemption? One second. I'll do that for you, buddy. This will be Jill Pizzle's redemption here. Hopefully it's a hard one again. <sighs> First of all, I think this one's going to be super easy, but now even easier, bro. To be honest. Yeah, this is going to be a nice baseball, too. Oh, look at that. I think a lot of us would have got this right away. I'll do another one for you, Pizzle. Don't worry. Look at that. Specialty gold baseball. Holiday for the uh, Baltimore Orioles. That is so sick, dude. That is so nice. And again, we had a couple repeats. So, man, Eugene getting the Adley in box one and now getting the Jackson Holiday, who's been raking lately, too. Man. There you go. That was nice. I was hoping we got a special two ball. And BTW, I don't know, you're probably watching this video, probably just disgusted right now. Alright, All right, one more. If he gets this wrong, he's gonna quit the hobby. I'm selling it all. This is a nice one, too. You, I don't know. Maybe you'll get this one, but I don't know. This one might be a little hard. But maybe you've seen it already. And I'll see. Hold on. Let me look this dude up and see if which way is his auto. So give you a little fair.
This is the auto right here, Pizzle. Let's see if you're gonna get this. And if you don't get it, I'm gonna tell you why you should have got this. Kyle Lewis. <laughs> Pizzle's thinking long and hard right now. I know it. <laughs> I might have given it away for him already. You guys can still guess, though. You guys can still guess. And you guys are all wrong right now. You should know this, and I think when I tell you right now who this is, you're gonna you're gonna be mad. All right, now let's do the who in my part because everyone's getting it wrong. I don't really expect many people to know this guy's auto that much yet, but when I do the who am I, you're gonna find out who it is. All right, I'm a currently active MLB pitcher. I don't even know what I can say about this guy that's just going to give it up right now. Active pitcher. My first year in the MLB. <laughs> if I start saying all his other statistics, I mean, yes, you would get it right away even better. But yeah, I was a five-time All-Star in the NPB. Three-time Triple Crown in the Japanese League right as well. MVP over there. And yeah, you know why you should have known? Because you pulled this guy's autograph out of that blaster. I know it's a little bit sloppier, but not really. It kind of looks really good. And yeah, Dodgers. Eric as well, man. Congrats. What can we do? I know. And I was going to say, I don't think you would have gotten him in person, so I understand that, but... I figured you would have still maybe recognized his auto because you actually pulled one. <laughs> but this this one was hard though. I mean, that's actually what I wanted. I didn't want it to be easy. Okay, you can still be in this hobby then. A nice one, Eric. Put in some work, man, and there you go. He should be back soon though. I think he was doing like some simulation pitches this weekend. Or this week, I should say, so. Hopefully back soon. Last one, guys. All right, let's see if you can get this one too, Pizzle. Oh yeah, you got five Babe Ruths for real? Who's this guy? Definitely not that way, it's this way. Definitely not that way. That would be backwards. It's a nice signature, though. Alright, I am a um, former MLB player. Started my career in 1990. My last appearance in the MLB was in 2005. I had a 271 batting average all time, 339 home runs, over 1,200 RBIs, uh, runs batted in. Played for one, two, three, four, four different teams in my entire career. Um, mainly with two teams. 
from 1990 to 95 with my first team. Uh, and was a first-round draft pick for this team as well. I'll give it up. Seattle Mariners. I was a first-round draft pick for the Mariners. And then... Um, was traded to the New York Yankees in 1996. So those are the two teams I mainly played for my career. About five years each, honestly. Five to six years each. I was a two-time All-Star. One year in Seattle, one year in, in New York. And I was a four-time World Series champ. 96 and then 98 to the 2000. I also had a Silver Slugger Award in 1997. And uh, I did win gold in the Summer Olympics, representing USA Baseball in Seoul. Yep. Not Fred McGriff, but Tino Martinez. So let's see who Tino's under, because he did play for a couple teams. Let's see what the checklist has him. Uh, they have him under Yankees. So there you go, another one for the Yankees and Stacy. That was a cool one. I think it kind of said Tino in the front, but the Tino looks like a J, right? Like in cursive. I feel like I seen the I N O, and then the rest I don't know. I don't know what goes into people's signatures, to be honest, but I feel like I seen the N I O in the beginning, but I just the T looked like a J. Let's see. Well, Rex, no one told you to buy 10 filler spots. cool we got some really good ones so Yoshinobu Yamamoto Jackson Holiday specialty Adley Rutschman Acuna early on we got Dale Murphy Tripper Jones you know Tino Martinez right now uh, a lot of good names though so appreciate it guys um yeah this is also a promo break so you know in case we do sell out the promo I'm gonna put you guys in the list and if we sell this out by tomorrow the breaks in the promo uh, that means uh, you guys will get a chance to win some money. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you.